grand rising loves this is today's altar spread for the collective and look what showed up again today luna and the volcano and so if you remember what i said yesterday this is about waiting finding peace in the waiting when you let go of expectation everything's possible but if you have expectation then it becomes very limited what is possible and it also changes your ability to move through that change with ease and with without effort becoming water like the reflection in this picture so this is the beautiful power of the full moon and the imminent destructive power of the vol erupting volcano and so this card says change is expected expect change but don't expect what that will be just know that change will always be happening and find peace in those in-between moments so that you can effortlessly move with any change that occurs because expectation creates rigidity and it creates a lot of misery now the witness i love this card so the witness talks about not speaking not doing but just be in the receiving and so we are birthed into the human experience as three parts. We are a physical body, the earth suit. We are an intellect and we are a soul. But the earth suit and the intellect were only ever meant to be tools of the human experience. The earth suit to help us exist on this plane and the intellect to help us communicate on this plane. But neither of them is supposed to be in the driver's seat ever and so the true us is the ever infinite never changing observer because everything's already been planned and so the witness talks about just observe just be when you are the witness those who are around and this is a lot like holding space i'm holding space for you everything becomes clear you're no longer trying to propel experiences by adding your voice or adding your action, but instead observing it and allowing it to be. So that's a lot like becoming water as well. Just flow with the changes. Be the witness. And this, hearing truth, didiri. And I love this. The synchronicity of all of these together today is so amazing. Didiri talks about not going into the judgment of the past or the future. That's the intellect. Because the intellect is that programming. It saves information from experiences. So it doesn't know anything outside of the experiences that you've already had. It's a very limited database. But the soul always knows infinite truth. And so when you're in that stillness, when you're being the witness, or when you're finding peace in between the changes, you recognize truth. And it feels right because you know there's no confusion when you're present. I'll say that again. There is no confusion when you're present. Confusion comes when you're trying to access the programming of that intellect, the database. There is no space for that in the new paradigm. And tourmaline, inner peace again. I mean, this is the current of today and it's really clear what's being conveyed here. That tourmaline is actually um, calling us to find that inner peace, to be present. And this is again, is the common pulse. Can you enter the space of your true self? 
Can you allow the soul to be the driver of your human experience instead of your earth suit? Can you let your soul be the driver of your human experience instead of the intellect? Dropping that judgment and move through the human experience in peace and through feeling and intuition. So beautiful. And tourmaline has a high lithium content. So I'm gonna show you because this card is actually asking you to use pink or watermelon tourmaline. So this is pink tourmaline. So I have a few chunks of just the pink. I'm charging them here on my Sri Yantra. But beautiful stone, and it is very calming. And this is watermelon. I have a piece in Matrix. So the watermelon tourmaline is the green and pink together. So beautiful. So the calm impulse today is very, very powerful. See if you can find it in yourself to let the soul be the driver today and stay completely present and watch how it changes everything, truly changes everything. I love how the fire is totally dancing right now. It's like really acting up. That's celebration of the vibration that I'm putting off right now because um, I'm so excited about this altar spread. It's amazing. There's literally no air. You see the feathers are not moving. There's literally no air blowing in this space. I don't have a ceiling fan or anything. <sighs> I just feel completely full of gratitude. 